What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of Madden 16 Career Mode featuring one half leader of the most interceptions on the Washington Redskins, Dwayne Thompson. Let's give it up for Dwayne Thompson, guys. Leads the team in interceptions with Rodney McLeod, tied first. And Trent Murphy leads the team with QB sacks. Look at our offense. Look how we ranked in the NFL. We are 31st in the NFL in ranked offense. But when it comes down to defense, when it comes down to defense, how defense wins championships, we are 8th. 8th in the NFL in total defense. That's pretty, pretty darn good. We lead the NFL in interceptions as well, which is pretty outstanding. But when it comes to sacks, it just seems like we cannot get back to the quarterback. But if you look at the points allowed, we are eighth as well. That's very, very good. But look at our next game. We are going against the Dallas Cowboys. Remember the last time we played them? Remember how we lost? Remember how we were in the lead until the Cowboys came back? Well, guess what? We're playing in Washington this time in front of our home crowd. Hopefully, hopefully, Des Bryant is still injured because the last time we played him, he was hurt. Oh, snap. Look at Jay Gruden and Payne, the referee. Hey, we'll take all the help we can get. We'll take all the help we can get. Right now, we're currently 3-2 on the season, second in the NFC East. And look at RG3 trying to pump up his offensive line because he's tired of getting sacked and hit, which I don't blame him. So it looks like the offense is going to get the ball first. So starting off on defense, offense did get the ball first, but apparently they weren't able to put up any points. And we do stop the run there on second and seven, which makes it a third and seven. We're running a cover two, actually a cover four, which was a bad idea because that pass was ripped right between the two safeties. And that's Tony Romo back there slinging the rock. And look at that. On a first and 10, Joseph Randall getting the first down, which makes it a first and 10 again. And watch the catch by number 18. I don't know who that is, but spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. He's going to have a big, big game today. Second and goal. You see me on the outside covering this, Brian. I hope Tony Romo throws my way. But instead, the Cowboys run the ball. And it looks like our defense gave no effort. And that is Pierre Thomas dancing in the end zone like that. Do you think there's going to be a Washington Redskins fan that writes a letter to the Dallas Cowboys and Pierre Thomas because her nine-year-old saw that dance? I hope she does. So after the point extra, the Dallas Cowboys find themselves up, up seven. That was a nine-play drive for 62 yards. Our defense has to step up. So on, our, so on the Dallas Cowboys' next offensive possession, it's a second and ten. We're running a cover two. Tony Romo drops back, gets hit, and fumbles the ball. Sadly, it gets picked up by the Dallas Cowboys. But nonetheless, great pressure after just talking about not getting enough sacks. We got the sack right there, but on a third and 24, we cannot stop them. And there he is, number 18 again. Going up high to get that pass from Tony Romo. And that's Chris Culliver. I'm sorry, Chris Culliver is probably one of the worst, one of the worst players on our secondary. Probably probably the weakest spot on our defense is wherever Chris Culliver's at. Throwing shade at him. Second and 11, another running play and just a huge open hole by the Dallas Cowboys running back who almost, almost breaks free for a touchdown. That is Pierre Thomas again, who's having a pretty darn good day. And on first and goal, another touchdown, but that is Joseph Randall this time. And that is his 20th career rushing touchdown. So right now, we're getting stomped on by the Dallas Cowboys offense. This was not happening last time we played, but then again, they did not have Tony Romo nor Des Bryant. In this game, they have both, but First and 10, that's Chandler Jones getting the sack in the backfield. So that makes two sacks this game. Two sacks this game. 
So this is what I like to see. I like to see pressure. I like to see the defensive line getting in the backfield so the secondary doesn't have to work as hard. And on the third and 11, a pass play into... <sighs> Please don't tell me that's what I think it is. Is, is that a pass interference? Oh my freaking goodness. Oh my gosh. So with that pass interference call, puts him on a two yard line. And an easy walking touchdown by Joseph Randall. And basically we just got 21 skunked by the Dallas Cowboys. By the Dallas Cowboys. So moving on to the second half, second and six, a pass play for Tony Romo and watch me intercept that pass to get my fourth interception of the season hopefully to spark a comeback by our offense just a great 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 leaping interception by me Tony Romo forced that ball apparently didn't see me drop back but I was there to pick the pass off so it gives the offense very, very good field position. But as you see there, our offense weren't able to do nothing. And with only a little bit over three minutes left in the game, we lost. But there's one more highlight I have to show you guys on the third and 14. Tony Romo forcing a ball again. Don't get ill-advised pass. And I am there to get the interception. Watch the juke. Watch the spin move. I get brought down at the 24-yard line. And at this point, yes, I'm more worried about stats than winning the game. Because we already lost the game. But... I am hyped up to get my second interception of the game, also my fifth interception of the season. Look at our total yards this game. Look at how many yards, rushing yards and passing yards we had this game. This is just straight embarrassing. We got 21 skunked. The Cowboys take it from the 23. Williams is there to catch the ball. Well, never mind. We got 28 skunked. The 10 gonna take it home for the touchdown. Today. Yeah, you know, Jim, when you play around. We lost this game badly by 28 points. 28 to 0. Not the way how we wanted to come out and play an NFC East division rival, seriously, on our home field, that is embarrassing. And, and look at, look at, look at the, just look at the day that RG3 had. Look at the day that James Starks had. Not bad, but it wasn't great neither. And look at our, just look at our receivers. Rashard Matthews led our receivers with two receptions that game. That is, that is as embarrassing as it gets. So after losing like that, we have to face a 5-0-1 opponent in the Detroit Lions. You ask me how we're going to bounce back from that Dallas game. This is just going to be one of the toughest games we had so far in the Detroit Lions, who is looking pretty, pretty strong. And to be 5-0-1 in the NFC North, where you have to face the Green Bay Packers and to still be 5-0-1, it's going to be tough. And right now, into the second quarter, they're already up 7-0. First and 10. I missed the tackle and Jack Bell struts his way into the end zone for the first rushing TD of the game. And the Lions are up by 14-0. Moving later on. Into the second quarter, we're down by 14 again, but we did score three points. And right now, you could just tell that the Detroit, the Detroit Lions are trying to score before the half is over to try to put us more deep into a hole. But as a defensive unit, we have to stand strong. And on second and ten, we do get that tackle. But on the third and fourth, watch Matthew Stafford overthrow his man, and Dwayne Thompson is there again. Yeah. He 
overthrew his man and I was just settling in my zone. And that ball came straight to me, wishing, wishing I could have returned it for a touchdown. But that doesn't matter because we weren't able to score a touchdown. Not only that, I also put up three points to only be down by four. But we can't get too happy with that as we are still down. And there's not that much time left in the game. First and ten, a pass out to Calvin Johnson for the first down. Another first and ten. A handoff to Bell, but he gets stopped in the backfield by RKO. Moving on into the fourth quarter, we were able to score a touchdown, but also so were the Detroit Lions, so we still found ourselves by four. Second and ten, a handoff, which only goes for about a little bit of yards. And on second and eight, Matthew Stafford tries to roll out the pocket, but here I am on his tail, getting the sack in the backfield to make it 30-17. That was a no, that was a well-needed sack. A very, very well-needed sack. So on a fourth and 17, the Lions are forced to punish the ball. And with that, our offense went down the field to score a touchdown to put ourselves up by three. And there goes another sack. Chandler Jones, two weeks in a row, has recorded a sack. The very next play, second and 17. Matthews tries to force the ball, and that is intercepted by D'Angelo Hall. But Hall, a.k.a. Grandpa, got hurt on the play. The oldest guy on the team apparently he can't get up. He needs life alert. Is to get us but as we move on, he looks he looks like he's doing okay on the sidelines. So we were able to turn that turnover into points. And we are up by 10. With a little bit left in the fourth quarter. Oh, shit. Wow. Um. Wow. Wow. I don't know I don't know what to say about that play, but we're just gonna move on to pretend like that play never happened. First and ten, another pass out by Matthew Stafford, and the Lions are getting first down after first down. But on the first and ten, that is Chandler Jones, who leads the NFL in sacks, by the way, in real life. Getting back there for the sack, forcing the Lions into a second and twenty one. Third and five, dropping back out. But that, ladies and gentlemen, is an incomplete pass. Meaning, we did come out with the win at home against the Detroit Lions, leaving them with the record of five and two, and us with the record of three. I don't even know what our record is. I'm, 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 I'm not even gonna try to attempt. But we did come away with the win against a very, very top opponent team in the NFC so great win by us hopefully we can come back next week and do it again